Good morning everyone, this is Neha and today is day 5 where we are going to do a good stretches and whole body yoga. Alright, so if you have not done any warm up also, it's okay, you can directly uh, join me because we are going to do warm up, a bit of asana, pranayama and meditation. So before we start, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe and also click a bell icon right next to it. You can follow me on Instagram with the ID of yoga for cure. Let's get started. Before you start, close your eyes. Keep your shoulders relaxed and hands on your knee. Slowly start taking a deep breath in and deep breath out. This is just for you to be mentally prepared for the practice. Relax your shoulder, keep your spine straight. Now slowly open your eyes. Now gently we will give a neck rotation down and around. Inhale and exhale accordingly. One more time. Then the other side. If possible, try to keep your eyes closed where you can feel your neck. Two more to go. Now, one more to go. Next stretch is most ignored thing when you try to do practice because you have to give a bit of stretch to the neck because throughout you use your shoulders, use your neck so much but then if you don't give enough stretch that's when you start having this stiff necks and uh, frozen shoulder and all these problems. Okay, Now take your both the hands straight forward, interlock your both the fingers, push it out. So when you push your sh uh, shoulders out, try to round your shoulder as much as possible. Take your stomach in, inhale and exhale, shoulder in a straight line, inhale and exhale, inhale, hold three, feel your chest, feel your shoulder, two, one, relax, a little bit of a wrist rotation. This should be a regular stretches, your shoulder, your neck and your wrist, your ankle. Try to add as much as possible and the other side. Every time you give stretch, make sure that you give slow, don't be in a hurry to run. Now place your right hand on the left knee, left hand behind your spine and give a gentle twist and look back. It need not to be a deep stretch, just a very mild stretch. Center. Other side. Come back to center. One more time. Inhale, look back. Try to open up your shoulder. Both the shoulders should be away from each other. The other side once again. Make sure you both the elbows are straight and you look out. From here, slowly release your posture and now your knee and your hip joint should be one straight line and get your both the knee together but keep your both the wrist, both the palm apart from each other, okay. Your wrist and your shoulder should be in one straight line. Keep your fingers open, breathe in and breathe out. Now turn your toe pointing out slowly. Now we are going to move our rest, right leg up and forward. So just like the way we practice in cat and cow, <clears throat> you are going to inhale, you are going to push your knee out. Make sure that you never straighten your leg, it is always bent and arch your spine in, open up your chest, toe pointing up. So you are going to expand your whole body. Exhale, you are going to round your shoulder, you are going to get your knee closer to forehead. Here, if your knee is not touching your forehead, it is absolutely fine. You do not have to force yourself. And just to touch your forehead to the knee, you do not have to force your neck down. That means you are putting a lot of pressure on the neck. Try to just drop your neck down. It should be very natural. You should feel a mild stretch in the spine and that is all. You are not trying to force yourself. So. Remembering that we are going to practice 
slow inhale just expand your body here and exhale if your body is here also it's fine if you can go further you can inhale up and exhale forward now we're going to hold in each posture <clears throat> Make sure that your knee is bent and your toe is pointing out. Open up your chest. Focusing in our spine, you're going to hold. Five. Four. You're balancing on your knee as well as on your palm. Three. Try to breathe in and breathe out as long as possible. Two. And exhale. One. You're going to take your knee forward. Stay here, three, two, and one. If I keep my knee closer to forehead, I really can't talk. I mean, that's how you'll be tightening your body, right? Yeah. So the same thing, we're going to try the other side. Toe pointing out, open up your chest, kick your toe out. Expand. And exhale forward. Inhale. And here you exhale. Knee to forehead without forcing your neck. Inhale up. Exhale. Here, mostly I've seen people bending your elbow just to reach your knee. Please don't do that. Keep your knee, uh, elbow straight. And the last one. Inhale up. Hold five, four, feel that your whole body is extremely active, three, keep your eyes closed if that's possible, two, and one, exhale forward, three, two, one, relax. This looks very simple and I'm sure if you're just practicing along with me, you can feel that it is like much intense and it's all about the way you practice. The same thing if you practice like pretty fast with like, you know, few breaths. I don't think so you will feel this intense. That's why anything smaller practice also is fine. Try to practice with slow, with your breathe in, breathe out and try to hold. That's when you can see that your whole body is like being warmed up pretty quick. Okay. Now from here. Once you feel a bit relaxed in child posture, from here, take your one palm ahead. Okay, the same measurement, just like take one palm ahead. From here, slowly push your body forward and try to drop your thighs and come to Pujangasana. Make sure that your elbows are straight. You're not killing your neck. Your neck is much free and relaxed. Here, try to stay here for about five to ten seconds just giving that good stretch to the spine breathing breathe out if this is like tough for you you can also bend your fold your uh, elbow now tuck your toe in now push your hip back and feel your spine now extend your arms as much as possible from your shoulder now from here come to Parvatasan so now you already know if depending on your uh, flexibility you can practice you can either keep your heels down or you can keep your knee bent let's start with this just try to keep your knee bent and push your hip up try to get your chest closer to the thighs and then drop your heel down now one by one just lift your heel up and exhale down up this particular practice will give you a bit strong stretch to your calf muscles. Try to expand your body as much as possible while you practice. Along with your long breathing and breathe out. A few more times. Because early morning when you practice you can experience your body is already tight. 
so all these small small things makes you feel really good down from here get your left foot in between both the palm i'm using my left foot first because so that i can face you now drop your heel down so my back heel is on the floor from here lift your right hand up all the way and come to warrior 2 okay keep your body kind of relaxed if you don't know how to practice warrior 1 warrior 2 or any of it i have already made a separate video i'll share the link in the description so front knee should be facing forward should be 90 degree it should not be more it should not be less if you have a knee pain keep it like slightly lesser than 90 degree or else you can keep 90 degree okay back knee should be completely straight try to open up your chest <sighs> both the hands in a straight line so now look at your left so whichever knee is bent you're gonna turn that side breathe in breathe out stay here three two try to keep your breath long in long last one three slowly keep your both the hands on your waist now we're gonna still hold here for next three counts just to you know warm up our thigh a little more don't give up you can hold with me for next three counts let's stay there three two one now slowly come back to straight line now slowly get your foot turning forward you're gonna try the same thing the other side first turn your right foot out okay keep your chest in center now both the knees straight warrior two is pretty easy you're gonna expand your both the hands to shoulder level and you're gonna move your front knee forward hold so make sure that you both the shoulder and their hands in one straight line breathe in and breathe out we're gonna hold here for three counts three deep inhale deep exhale two don't even think of giving up because it's okay if you don't feel there is no point practicing right one more inhale and exhale drop your hands down so now let's wait for three more counts three remember you are strong and you can practice and you don't have to give up two deep breathe in deep breathe out now slowly come to center get your foot out spine straight now try to turn your foot you know 45 degree out not like complete because this is much easier remember we were still working on the beginner part now from here inhale try to push your knee out okay here you have an option you don't really have to force yourself just like even if you can give a little bit of a uh, you know effort on the thigh that should be more than enough all you have to do is you have to keep your spine straight you have to focus on going down not forward like opening up your knee and down and coming up down and up inhale down you're gonna hold place your hand on your knee and accordingly adjust your heel hold three Let's stay there, hardly few counts. Two. And one. Slowly come back to center. Turn towards the left. Slowly drop your palm down, like back to full plank. From here, drop your knee down. Let's quickly relax our thighs. Expand your hands. Drop your head down. So be in child posture for about like 10 to 15 seconds so that you relax your thighs and you prepare yourself for rest of the practice. You just like stay there, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Now from here 
slowly you're gonna come forward now we are practicing half plank together for 10 counts okay half plank is an amazing uh, posture which will help you to increase the stamina also help you to lose the belly fat if you can practice this every day that's great so what you need to do you need to drop your both the hands get your both the palm together okay from here take your heels back on your toe move forward so basically you are literally now balancing your body on your toe as well as on your elbow let's start counting 10 9 don't give up we just started we can complete this together 8 7 breathe in and breathe out and hold on to the posture 6 5 we are almost halfway there so you can hold on 4 3 don't give up continue for next few more counts 3 2 1 slowly drop your stomach down get your palm next to the chest toe pointing out head down Keep your palm, elbow inside, shoulders active. Now with the inhalation, very slowly, keep your focus to the lower back. And with the inhalation, you're going to slowly lift your chest up. If you're comfortable, hold here. If you can go a little more, then continue your journey into complete stretch. Now here, widen your shoulder. Deep breathe in. And deep breathe out. Deep breathe in and deep breathe out. Now slowly come to child posture. We're gonna give a quick stretch to the spine as we did uh, Bhujangas, and it was quite a deep stretch. And drop your head down. From here, slowly come on your knee. Okay, keep your spine straight again. It's a very mild stretch. I don't want you to do a complete Uttrasana because we haven't done a lot of spine warm-up. So, keep your both the hands to the waist. Elbow inside. Okay, inhale. Go back. So, here, when I say go back, you're not pushing your stomach and you're pushing back. So, with all the awareness, very slowly, you're, you know, pushing your upper back towards your heels. Now, slowly go back. And exhale, come to center. Inhale, go back. Exhale, center. Last one time. Inhale, back. And exhale, come back to child posture. Stay here in child posture for about 5 to 10 seconds. Take a deep breathe in and deep breathe out. Drop your body weight down. Relax your shoulder and especially your spine. Once you feel comfortable, slowly come up. And sit back in Sukhasana. Okay. All right, now I'm assuming that you feel quite active right now. So let us practice a bit of uh, Nadi Shuddhi. So we're going to practice Nadi Shuddhi three times each side. Okay, left hand will be in uh, Chin Mudra. Keep your shoulders relaxed. From your right hand, we're going to practice Nadi Shuddhi. Close your right nostril. Inhale from the left. Close the left, exhale from the right. Inhale from the right. Exhale the other side. Inhale from the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the right. 
exhale to the left, inhale to the left and exhale to the right, inhale to the right, exhale to the left. Keep your eyes closed and slowly drop your both the hands in chin mudra. Now relax your shoulder. After pranayam, just observe your breath. You don't have to put any effort in getting your breathing longer or shorter. Just observe the way it is. The moment you observe, by default your breath will be like longer than the usual. Now just observe how relaxed your mind is. Try to push away all the thoughts. Make sure that your spine is completely straight. Take your focus to the nostril and observe the way you breathing in and breathing out. Especially the warmness every time when you exhale. This is the space between you and yourself which is the most important thing. Observing, giving attention to the breath, giving attention to the body. This is the right thing and the most important thing which will make you feel more active, more relaxed, more stress free which hardly takes few minutes to calm you down. Try to let all the stress go away from you. Try to let all the thoughts go away from you. You're going to stay only with your breath and the awareness which you have right now. Keep your eyes closed as it is. Now relax your hands and turn to the right side and lie down on your back into Shavasana. If you find any stress in your spine, keep your knee bent. If you find it normal, then keep your legs slightly apart from each other. Turn your palm up to the ceiling, drop your whole body weight down. Now observe your breath is already long enough. Your thighs, your knee and your ankle is resting on the floor. Let your whole body be completely relaxed. Figure out if you have any tension in any of the body part. If you find any tension in any of the body part, just try to relax and release. Take your focus to the shoulder, your arms and your both the hands. Feel completely relaxed. You can find yourself completely light. You can feel your yoga mat on your spine. With a long breathe in and a long breathe out. Now slowly get your both the hands together and your legs together, your hands and your legs closer to each other. Now lift your right hand straight over the head on the floor, left hand on the stomach, right leg is bent, slowly turn towards your side and sit up. I am assuming that your eyes are still closed. can slowly come to Sukhasan with your spine straight and with your shoulder relaxed, eyes closed with that peaceful breathe in and breathe out.
here. Take one breathe in and breathe out where you inhale and you feel positive and you exhale all the stress, negativity and the pain. You are what you keep thinking, you are what you keep feeding to your mind. So always try to keep it as positive as possible. Now gently get your both the palm together and rub your both the palm. Drop it to your eyes. Once again rub your both the palm. Drop it to your face. Now slowly open your eyes and look into your palm. Thank you. I hope you are feeling a bit peaceful and relaxed. Continue to be the same. After this, if you feel like being with yourself for some more time, you can still continue to sit in your eyes closed. Where you don't have to think anything or do anything, just close your eyes and see what do you feel. Alright, so if you have practiced with me, please drop a comment because I want to know what do you feel and how, how come you have practiced and share your experience here. And also you can share this video with someone whom you think will be helpful, who wants to start practicing yoga but struggling with how to start and where to start. So you practice and help others also practice. Thank you.